Tanya and I thought I would share this quick haul that I got from Amazon Japan because the obsession with Japanese stationery continues. And yeah, let's show you these things really quickly because I'm trying to avoid glare. I get a lot of glare on my videos and uh, yeah, well, you know, that's how life goes. So these came as a set, these little decorated tapes. They are super, super cute and they even came with a teeny tiny eraser which they say it's a, I don't know, a Deco Rush eraser, but uh, yeah, I guess it's just, it's just an eraser that is by the same people because um, it doesn't erase them, which I thought it might do, but then again, I am a bit daft like that, so let me quickly show you and give myself something to put on my page. <laughs> I swear that's the only reason why I buy stuff, <laughs> so that I can get a <laughs> get something to put on my page but look at how gorgeous that is and how how nicely it goes on I've never really had um, Japanese versions of these the ones I've had I think were probably more kid like because they never really went on very nicely oh bunnies look at the bunnies and here we go kitties how can anyone resist a kitty we nearly had my black cat join us today, but I discouraged him. I figure we don't need him as well. So, yeah. There we go. I think those are absolutely adorable. <laughs> Let me see if I can bring them up closer so that you can see them closer. You see, I can't actually see my screen, so I have no idea how well I'm doing when I do that. And I got myself another multifunction pen because, well, why, <laughs> who wouldn't want to? And they come like, I didn't honestly know that this was coming with it. But yeah, I got the pen and I, th I think this is perfumed because it has, <laughs> it has a seriously sweet, pretty smell to it. But yep, yeah, that's Ariel and it's green ink. And this one comes with all these colours. Yeah. I don't know if you'll remember, but I did buy one previously that came with a bunch of colours as well. But this one's got green and the dark blue, which is different to what I already have. And, I mean, it's Ariel. Who wouldn't want Ariel? And this one, actually, you probably can't see it. If you can, maybe. It's actually got a design on it. Little Ariel. Oh, it's just too cute. So, this is my pen. My pen test really pretty green actually so there's the green and yeah it has these little bits of bubbles on the on the nibs that you kind of need to get rid of it's obviously to protect that's the pink and they're super easy to put together you just slot the uh you slot the um what are these called pen cartridges no refills there we go Pen test. This is the orange, or is that the pink? Okay, that's the pink. That's the red. Good going here, Tania. This is the blue. Nice dark blue. And this is the orange. So there we go. All five colours. Plus this one, which is perfumed, which is also, I think, a pretty green colour. And I'm glad it's different to that one. So there is that, which I love. And then this, this is seriously cool, but uh, took me a huge amount of time to work out. And it's not, the way it's packaged, in my humble opinion, is pretty, pretty average because it's really difficult to get it out nicely. This is sponge. But anyway, that we're not going to quibble about. So this is a pen that comes with refills and a sharpener and it has four no let's start let's start by saying it's a super multi eight multi writing function pen it has ballpoint pen nibs refills it has neon pencil colored refills in a blue a pink and a yellow and a red and then it has a normal hb and then you're back to the ballpoint pens again how cool is that? And what you do is you do that and it shoots out. I did follow the instructions because as I said, huge learning curve. 
then you push it back in till you know where you think it should be and then you write with it or you draw with it and then you can't see it because it's neon <laughs> I am doing a flower there and then when you're done you kind of do that because if the if the lead stays in there and you turn it then it confuses everything and you don't get the color that you're supposed to get so once you've kind of worked it out then it, it does kind of become easier but yeah I don't know whether whether it's something that I'm going to be using every day measure pen but I mean how cool is that how it shoots out <laughs> pen test oh that's quite nice I think it's different to that red pen test let's get the blue but you've got to put it back in before you turn it otherwise it doesn't work and if you do happen to turn it while the lead is and I apologize for my nails apparently gel nail polish doesn't last all that long uh, let's do the black there it goes pen test that writes quite nicely actually nice and smooth and we've got cat hair get rid of it but yeah what you can do is if it gets confused and you want your blue pencil but out comes a pink or something all you do is leaving that in there you line it up there's a little there's a little arrow there and a marking and you line them up and it recalibrates the whole thing and becomes you know the way it should but yeah they're, they're really nice and you obviously sharpen it's a smaller sharp knife it has come across look at that teeny tiny hole <laughs> but yeah sharpens sharpens layers and it comes with two each I think it says it's two each of the real force because they're really quite thick see so yeah so there you go that's that pen it's a pen tool if I didn't say so in the beginning as I said not quite sure how much use I'm going to get out of it but uh, yeah it's super fun so there we go that was that and lastly the thing that I actually was most excited about <laughs> because I'm nerdy like that is I've had my eye on this magazine for absolutely ages now it's been in and out of my cart and yeah it's I think what it is is I think it's kind of like a magazine for kids but also for parents because it shows I don't know it's difficult because it's Japanese but it, it gives it gives um the word I'm looking for uh, recommendations it gives recommendations for books and this this issue this particular issue highlights this artist who draws these cats and it came with this really cute stationary booklet as a freebie and the other side is that and there's two designs in here there's this one and then there's this rather odd one which I think is really cool this one <laughs> my poor little kitty there oh shame and the books I just oh I just love it and then that's the back side how nice is that and yeah I got it primarily for oh, collaging and maybe you could even use some of it in junk journaling sorry I'm wiping my nose um and it came with stickers <laughs> I mean, you know what more could a girl want and the quality is fantastic it is glossy paper so obviously ah there you go Yuko oh dear Higuchi he's the artist and yeah I think he's fabulous uh, Google the Google Translate app is having a bit of difficulty with the fact that it's obviously written that way so I'm having a bit of difficulty reading the magazine but just look at all of this these beautiful beautiful illustrations Alice I just I just think it is absolutely gorgeous and uh, I'm super happy that I picked it up even though I can't read it and this is why I say I think these are recommendations but uh, and some of the paper isn't as glossy as the other so you could probably maybe do something on it but uh, I just oh the pictures are just so cool 
and yeah you see this is where maybe it's not <laughs> maybe it's not a children's <laughs> magazine because that's psycho i don't know what i don't know who the audience is that um this is aimed at because it seems to have a lot of children related stuff if you know if you know please let me know i'm showing an abundance of ignorance here but uh, yeah, and obviously stuff that you can purchase and oh, there's washi tape that he's designed. I have this little notepad So yeah And obviously characters you can collect and this this I thought was just Just so nice Not sure Not sure about any of it really <laughs> Okay, well, this is a long interview with Seiji Fujishiro. And, yeah. Um, well, look at that. What can I say? It's, it's obviously a monthly magazine because I've seen many, many more of them when I was on Japan. And I am now really quite uh, keen to get some more. And these, I would assume, are books, book recommendations. Whoops, I skipped a page. And I'm not sure if they're illustrators or what. But yeah, and uh, again, more. More don't know what's. <laughs> but it is beautiful. Oh, here we go. You can see all the. This was January, January of this year. And doesn't she look lovely? Doesn't she look just so friendly and. Ah, just such a nice, she looks like a nice lady. So yeah, um, I'm very happy to have received it. And yeah, it's got this whole thing on Fantastic Beasts as well. So again, not, not too, a bit confused as to who the audience is meant to be, but uh, not going to complain. I would love to purchase some of these things. How cute is that? Toffee. And my glasses are going to fall off my nose soon. <laughs> uh, and then these are obviously paper, stationery, thingy, Bobby's kawaii paper goods. You see, it does have some English in it. <laughs> Every now and then. So, you're not completely lost. I, I, just, I just love everything about Japanese stationery. I mean, what's not to love? It's I would love a book like that. It reminds me of a book I had in my childhood. And I'm not sure who he is, but uh, yeah, he looks fairly friendly too. Yeah, look at that happy smile. And I actually went on to, because what's nice about here is they give, they do give website addresses and Instagram and that. And I went on to hers and her illustrations are absolutely stunning. And we're coming to the end of that and yeah so that was my mo magazine as i said the quality is amazing it's just really good and all my other goodies my weird pen my really pretty pen and my smelly pen <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this and yeah we'll chat again soon sometime bye bye